the opening of my new boating school, I pledge that as long as a student is willing to learn, I shall never give up. This is the poorest class I've had in a long, long time. Most of you have no foundation at all. Now the trouble's with your attitude. You don't pay enough attention in class. You don't do enough work outside of it. You don't know what the word study means. You haven't the slightest idea. He's got me scared to death. I'll just never pass this course. Pathetic. We're working really hard. You're not working hard enough. I need results. Students aren't getting the opportunities that they deserve. We can make this about power, and we can make this about politics. Or maybe somebody's gonna make it about kids. Or maybe somebody's gonna make it about kids. The American dream means something different to each individual. There are almost always embraces the right to a good education. People aspire to do well in high school so that they can go on to a good college. For some people, a good education is only a dream and will not become a reality. We decided to examine whether there is disparity in the educational system in Fairfield County, which is considered one of the wealthiest counties in the country. Throughout our film experience, we have gained insight into the varying meanings and significance of education, but it all depends on your perspective. The fact that a student has the means and ability to go to college doesn't necessarily mean he or she wants to attend. Similarly, there are students that want to go to college but aren't considered college material. Or have minimal means to afford an education. Do you think all kids in Fairfield County are offered the same educational opportunities? Well, no. <laughs> um, I really don't think all kids are offered the same educational opportunities. I do think um, it's not all equal if that's really good. Not all students in the Fairfield County school systems are offered the same educational opportunities. Unfortunately, they're not. The, the level of education of parents um, is, is hugely different. The larger cities, which aren't able to afford the same uh, per pupil spending as some of the wealthier towns in Fairfield County. Funding plays a part in that, and I don't think all schools are funded equally, and I don't think they all have the same programs offered. Due to different you know, financial issues and diversity struggles that districts have, not everyone has the same resources available to their students. Less than a mile away, um, in Bridgeport, the students are not afforded the same things. They don't have the same, again, the same facility, the uh, broad, uh, the breadth of programs that we, that we offer here. And uh, the kids they were dealing with um, issues that Many of our kids, not all of them, but many of our kids don't have to face each day. More minority students in the state segregated to city schools and caught in a cycle of poverty, with the outcomes being um, radically lower uh, rates of graduation, um, scores on SATs, college attendance, all of those outcomes are, are grossly unequal, and we have one of the most segregated and unequal public education systems in the entire country as a state. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mr. As a principal of a school in the Fairfield District, how significant is an encouraging school environment to the success of your students? Well, um, the overall environment of the school is. Um, is critical to the success of the students that go to school there. The environment in which you learn in is, is extremely important. It should be friendly, it should be welcoming, um, it should be kind. If you don't believe in yourself and you don't feel like you can do it, you have people encouraging you to keep trying and teachers to push you even harder. It's unlikely that students will reach their full potential and learn in a place that they don't want to be, in a place where they feel they're not welcome in a place where they feel that nobody cares about them. If you don't have good teachers, if you don't have um, encouraging parents, then you're not going to be influenced to learn. You're not going to feel like it's important. You need that support in the academic um, atmosphere to really do well and to succeed. When I was in Stratford, I was struck. I was teaching a, cl a class when I said to a girl, you know, you could, you're a really good writer. You could be, uh, you could do a lot better. You could get a B. You could get an A if you read right this. She said, nah, I won't bother because I'm only going to go to Southern anyway because that's all my parents can afford. After surveying 200 Ward students, we found that 86% considered Ward to be diverse. 
84% feel they are encouraged to do well by their teachers, 82% feel they receive a quality education, and 61% feel stereotypes exist at Ward. How do you think we could equalize educational opportunities within Fairfield County? Instead of uh, school systems being defined by the borders of a town, uh, you define them instead by the borders of a region so that uh, you incorporate urban and suburban areas within the same, you know, within the same region. Where we have uh, education funds is done badly, town by town by town. So rich towns have lots of money and poor towns don't. I think we should do it by a county system or maybe the whole state because it's a small state and it should be shared so that every kid, regardless of where they're born, has the same, at least financial uh, equality. Not necessarily other opportunities, but at least that part could be yeah. pulled out. The constitutions of many states have specific language promising that every child will have an equal opportunity to receive a good education. The reality in many states is that children in the inner cities do not get the quality education available in the suburbs, which has led to a desegregation lawsuit in Hartford, Connecticut. It was decided in, in favor of Chef, the state Supreme Court case. Any of you are both familiar with the Chef versus O'Neill case? Mm -hmm. Do you support the Choice Program? If so, why or why not? Project Choice has been around uh, for uh, for a good many years now, and it's not just here in Fairfield uh, and Bridgeport. It's a it's actually a statewide program that is meant to give uh, students who live in uh, urban areas a chance to attend school in uh, suburban areas. Yes, I support it. Uh, it has its limitations. A student uh, in the Open Choice Program coming from an urban area has to start at the beginning of their schooling. They have to start, I think, by first grade. What happens, I think, at our level is you know we have students who've been in the school system the whole time and they come to our school and that's that's great I think our school benefits more uh, or at least as equal equally to how the students themselves benefit. What connection if any do you see between the strength of athletic programs versus the strength in academic programs within a high school? For instance do you think the high schools that have strong academic programs have strong athletic programs? If so what do you attribute that to? positive school culture, a positive school experience, that's often a part of being on an athletic team, uh, can also affect the academic environment in the school and vice versa. So when there's a real positive feeling about school in general, uh, it, it often shows itself in athletics and academics and drama and school activities. All those things, you know, kind of come together. What would you say is the best aspect of being a student at Fairfield Ward? There are so many academic opportunities. The welcoming atmosphere. I liked um, having an opportunity to be in the school play this year, and I also liked all the great teachers I had. What courses do you take? English 31. French 51. Italian. I take AP Environmental Science. Do you find school easy or challenging? I find school a mixture of easy and challenging. I think it all depends on the types of classes that you take. I find it very easy. A person who wants to try hard and um, succeed and push yourself, then I would say that you would take the um, more difficult classes, which would make school a little bit more challenging. Challenging. But if you don't like to push yourself and you are more of a laid back kind of person and um, you don't really care and you're kind of lazy, then I would say that um, school is a little bit more easy. Easy. As a soon-to-be graduate of Fairfield Ward High School, what can you say about your learning experience throughout your four years here? I think that it's prepared us like for our college classes and um, taught us like really good study habits and um, learned to have a good time. <laughs> about myself as a person and academically also. I think my classes have improved, my grades have gotten really good, my grades have improved. I have to say that I've learned by being at Ward to definitely use all the resources um, that are available to me. It's really helped me to advance my thinking to higher levels, to um, communicate well with others, be social, kind of step outside of my box. What tools do you need to build an encouraging or positive atmosphere in a school? You need encouraging teachers, optimistic students, uh, 
um, students who are open to learning. I believe that if the teachers are more involved with the students, that it gives the students more motivation to do better and to do well. You know, good teachers that are always involved, obviously you do better. So the tools you would need at any, at any high school should allow you to succeed outside of school. What does the American dream mean to you? <laughs> I think that uh, the ideal is the American dream is being able to get to wherever you want to be, whoever you are, no matter how you start. Um, it's not is easier said than done. I hope to continue work as an actor, and hopefully when I graduate college, become a working actor. Well, I want to major in nutrition. I want to be in the business field and finance. I am going to be an architect when I grow up. Um, and I already have figured out my majors and my minors. Do you think the education you have received here at Ward has provided you with the resources to achieve your goal? Ward has allowed me to go to the Regional Center for the Arts, which is an after-school program where I go in Trumbull for acting. And it also has music, and theater, music, dance, singing, tech, all that stuff. Well, because I took two business classes and I don't think it will be useful for the field that I want to go. I don't think that it's providing me the necessary classes to pursue that career. Word has definitely given me different resources in order to achieve my goals. All students in Fairfield County are offered the same educational opportunities? Uh, no, no, definitely not. Like um, higher class tabs probably get like better education, like um, materials, rare classes. Yeah. Do you think there are stereotypes that exist in your school? Yeah, so I think there are stereotypes at Staples. Like Asian people are considered smart, I guess. That's one thing. And I guess kind of like a joke though, how like. Black people might steal something, but that's really more of a joke. But I mean, I, there definitely are a few stereotypes to say this. Stereotype, just for Westport in general, of like being in a bubble, because um, it's like we have a lot of privileges that a lot of Fairfield County things like, don't have. An encouraging atmosphere is extremely important to students learning. It's imperative that the students feel that they're supported, that they're encouraged, that we take care of their physical well-being, their emotional well-being. I try to do a lot of deep balloon belly breathing to calm them and de-stress them prior to a test. Um, we're big believers in exercise grows brain cells and will increase their creativity and help them with the stressful exams. So I let them bring uh, studying guides to class and they can run on the treadmill and they can study with a buddy, do a study buddy and I think it's, uh, it goes hand in hand. During our filming project, we learned that the issue of inequality among Fairfield County high schools is a controversial one. Despite our best efforts, we were unsuccessful in our attempts to interview teachers and administrators from area Bridgeport high schools. There appears to be a definite reluctance from people working within the Bridgeport public school system to discuss and perhaps criticize the system where they work. In a recent article discussing the inequity between Bridgeport and Greenwich communities, a Bridgeport parent who works as a maintenance worker in Greenwich commented that while children in Greenwich had concerts and the latest in teaching technologies, his children came home from school with stories of recent fights between students. However, our interviews of Bridgeport High School students show us that there is hope. What do you want to be or do after high school and do you think your high school has prepared you for your interests? Well, I want to be like a video game designer and no, not yet because um, I haven't like gotten any classes for that yet. And what do you feel the stereotypes are of your school? I feel like because uh, my school is an inner city school that people think you know, there's black kids and it's bad education bad things happen, people, you know, people don't care, but there's, there's actually a lot more people than you would think that care about the school and environment and 
Yeah, they think there's too much violence in that yeah. fight. <laughs> they yeah. think that and there yeah. actually isn't, you're saying? I mean, it just depends on the people you hang out with. Yeah. There's obviously bad people. There's yeah, bad but there's bad everywhere. people everywhere. Do you hear about like other high schools or like yeah. stereotypes of other high schools? Yeah, like, I had like... What do people what? say about like other places? <laughs> he said like Central. He said like Central, God. So, oh. yeah. I, I hear like... For me, because you know, I have a few white friends also. Yeah. And like this... People in white schools mm -hmm. tend to do like a lot more drugs. Yeah. Okay. Like people in Central, they used to do marijuana. Uh -huh. But people like in white, school, white, white schools, mm -hmm. other city schools, like math. Yeah. I can see that. Crack and all this stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, in the city schools, we tend to stick, you know, more natural. Do you feel that you receive a quality education at your high school? At times. Like, I feel like, because there's like a fluctuation in quality. Like, sometimes we all have really good class with like really intelligent kids and a really good teacher, but then sometimes you also have a school where the teacher doesn't care and the students don't care. So, do you feel like so, that when it like kind of depends on the your atmosphere almost yeah and do you feel like that a lot of your classes don't have like kids that want to do well or you I mean, feel like a majority have a lot of like kids that are, try really hard it depends because like central for example is magnet and regular yeah. central magnet kids care central kids the majority don't. so it's like kind of split yeah and i i take some magnet classes and magnet classes and College courses, so I kind of care. All right, what kind <laughs> of someone... courses do you take? Can you give yeah. us like an example? Like um, CCP algebra. So. Okay. And like, do you take an English? Yeah, I take honors English. Do you guys have any like electives or? Yeah, yeah. we have CCP. Oh, it's all the CCP courses. I just can't think. Of. Yeah. Oh no, that's awesome. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> What is one of the most important things you hope your students come away with from their high school experience? Oh, so many things. Life skills and being a good citizen are uh, very important skills that the high school students should attain. The love for, for learning, to keep going with education and challenging themselves, challenging themselves to um, learn as much as they can. You know, the students have heard me say on more than one occasion, if we're successful in creating that environment that I just described, the welcoming academic, respectful, dynamic, and ethical environment, mm -hmm. if we're successful in doing that, uh, then when, when you're done with us after four years, that you're ready for whatever is next. Hoping that they have resourcefulness, that they, that they did feel connected to a place, and that they'll search other connections in their future. The other part that I want our students to feel when they leave us is that um, that they spent four years in a community that really cared about them and that they see the value in that human connection between uh, the adults that were in their lives here in school and themselves and that they'll take a piece of that into the next stage of their lives.